Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Tampa Honda, and with this 2020 Odyssey that we have, I want to help you answer a question. Should you really go buy an SUV, or should you go the minivan route? Let's think about this. The Honda Odyssey has been around since 1995. They weren't the ones, though, that started the minivan craze. That all happened in the mid-1980s, all thanks to Lee Iacocca and the Chrysler organization, Chrysler Dodge Plymouth. Fast forward to the 21st century, it seems like minivans have been shunned. You know, back when I was a kid, it was all about station wagons, then it was the minivans, and now minivans have been pushed aside because everybody and their mother wants an SUV. Well, guess what? You may go out and buy the largest SUV. Let's say you're here at a Honda dealership and you're looking at a Pilot. This Odyssey is gonna have way more interior space. So if you have a large family, if work entitles you uh, to have to bring a bunch of stuff with you wherever you go, a minivan might be the route, and I think that there's gonna be a lot of surprises. Now, with this 2020 Odyssey, I decided to do the EXL trim. There's some new changes for 2020 that I think you're gonna really like, plus it kind of falls right in the middle of the sweet spot. It's not the fully loaded Elite, but it's also not a base trim. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 Honda Odyssey. Right off the bat, the thing I like about it is that it looks like a Honda. Very distinctive lines. You have some chrome trim that kind of starts at the top here, drops down and goes over to the other side. Headlight design. The headlight housing, very similar to the Honda Pilot to the Honda Ridgeline. Chrome inside goes well with the exterior chrome and you have that projector style beam headlight design. We come down and we're gonna get to the first zonk. What's going on here? Fake vents on a minivan. That's a no-no in my book. They should have just slim that out or just made it smaller and use more of the silver. But you do have fog lamps and other exterior lighting in that nice area. As we come across the front though, that traditional brand styling of the Honda grille where they kind of encompass the H in Honda with some kind of trim. You have the chrome that goes from one corner to the other on the bottom portion and then a little bit across the top. As we come down, some horizontal flat black and then an open area in the lower grille that's all flat black but definitely like i said you can't confuse this with any other brand when you get up onto the hood some very distinctive body lines i like the ones here because they kind of come out of nowhere and then curve and then disappear again and you have some very strong lines on each corner really gives it some personality into the front of this minivan because that's going to be the hardest challenge for any manufacturer whether it's toyota with the sienna chrysler with the pacifica Honda with the Odyssey is to give the minivan some style to where it doesn't look like a refrigerator rolling down the road. Now, when we come around the bend here and we look at the fender trim, no flat black, it's all painted. This is the wheel setup that you're gonna get on the EXL. It's an 18 inch wheel, a bright silver. As you can see, the silver on the car is actually a little darker, so it works. It's just a little uh, bland for my taste. There are other trims where you could get a fancier style wheel, but you're looking 235 on the width, 60 series sidewall is gonna give you a nice, comfortable ride. Let's continue. Chrome trim along the whole length of the bottom. Nicely done. We have body color matching mirror caps, a little bit of flat black, and the LED turn singles all blended in very nicely. Chrome door handles gives it that extra nice touch as well, especially with the chrome on the front. Some flat black along the bottom. And what's really wonderful is that when it comes to the doors, you have that electric sliding door. This is something that when minivans first came out, they didn't have that. And what's wonderful is you could go on both sides of it. Really, really nice to do. You kind of push and then there it goes right back, close it up. A Little on the slow side, but hey, it makes life easy, especially if you have tons of stuff in your hands like kids. We come back, large rear quarter window. That's gonna allow a lot of natural light to come in. There's that chrome trim I was telling you about. And you can see the flow. It's got a nice little flow that drops down, comes to the rear. If you notice, it almost has that floating roof design where the rear pillar here has been split with the glass. It all looks really nice with that one piece. And then when we get to the back, low roof spoiler, some more chrome trim, ties into the front, ties into those door handles. We come down, you have your Odyssey badge, and the wonderful thing is no exhaust whatsoever. It's all tucked in as it should be, really gives it a clean look, and I like the way the chrome trim is integrated into the taillight design, very similar to that headlight design. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, 
and see what's powering this 2020 Odyssey. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. There is a prop rod. We're going to zonk that. There should be hood struts on this. Underneath the hood is an engine that's covered by what looks sort of like a trash can lid. So I'm zonking that engine cover. I do like the way it says Honda and Earth Dreams technology there, but really the style looks like it belongs on a, on a trash can. What you're looking at underneath all that plastic is a 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower, 286, excuse me, 262 pound feet of torque. It's all mated to an all new on the EXL trim, 10 speed automatic transmission. This minivan weighs about 4,354 pounds and you could tow up to 3,500 pounds. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the MPGs on this? 19 in the city, 28 on the highway. As you can see, it's a very nice area to collect leaves because here in Florida, leaves go from green to brown. We really don't have the changing of the uh, seasons. I don't think many people are gonna open up the hood on their own Odyssey. This is where your service tech, as you're getting the oil changed and all that, they're the ones that are gonna be looking at it. So it's pretty much not the biggest issue when it comes to the style of this car. But let's go ahead, get inside, and see how much room there is in this Honda Odyssey. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Honda Odyssey. Like I said, this is an EXL trim. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, this vehicle is large. It's got to have a large price. MSRP for the way that this one is optioned out is you're looking around $39,000. Let's see what you get to the, for the money. Now to the door panels. Now it may all look just like black material, but it's not. You actually have this very, very dark chocolate brown material that's in the middle portion of the door and on the armrest. It's all soft touch, even at the top of the door panel. And look at the door pockets there. They are so well engineered for putting all sorts of things. You could have your tray there for Twinkies. You could put some drinks in there, some Lay's potato chip bags. I mean, really, really nicely well thought out by Honda and the engineers. Now, when you get to the dash, same soft material, that simulated stitching. I like this trim here. This almost looks like brushed aluminum. Same thing down here. Do you see how this is darker? It's almost like a chocolate, not an actual black color material. You get to the infotainment system. There's a little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. That's an eight inch infotainment system. You have all your different apps. It does have the swipe feature, which is really nice. You could actually go through and go through your apps that way, which is really, really nice as well. So they give you lots of different ways to navigate through the different systems, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's gonna have you covered. You even have your volume knob. There's that nice silver trim. I like the placement of the start stop button. This has that push button transmission. Trust me, drive it, you'll get over it. I used to hate these and now it just cleans up everything. This is for that 10 speed. You have a snow mode, which is nice. Also the economy mode, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And that's one thing on the EXL trim, you're getting the leather interior, which is a very nice touch and you might wanna just go one trim higher and go that EXL. Large area down here. You could go to Costco and get the largest bag of ruffles they have and just have it nicely placed there. You have a 12 volt, which is nicely done. And then look at this. That's a party right there. So you could load that up with your Tootsie Rolls, Jolly Ranchers, whatever. Hide it away. Nobody even knows you're snacking. Two cup holders. You got another area here for Snickers, whatever you want. I'm telling you, if you like snacks, buy an Odyssey. Honda knows you love the snacks. Key fob, same Honda key fob. It's got a nice weight to it. You have your buttons for the power sliding uh, passenger doors and the uh, auto start feature. Nice little, well, I actually have two key fobs here. I just got confused for a second. We do multiple cars at one time here on Radies Rides. So we have a sliding um, top here. Let me get this out of the way so Tom can show you. Nice sliding area, another large area. You could actually put two and a half boxes of Twinkies in here unopened. USBs and an aux jack, seal that up, seats. As you saw, we have the captain style armrest. It's a little on the wider side. I just would like it a little bit wider. So I am still gonna zonk this. It's the uh, ratcheting kind for the driver, but non-ratcheting for the passenger. I like actually non-ratcheting. Nice soft leather. On the seat controls, you have your electric assist nicely placed down there. And then another thing I almost forgot to point out is look at this, you could actually hang your purse or bag here. If you have a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack, a satchel, that's smart engineering. You just hang it there and it's not all slopping around all over the place. Standard size sunroof, room 
you have plenty of room up here. I'm telling you, plenty of room. Get on over to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Honda Odyssey. All right, guys, business time. On the driver's side, you do have memory settings, two memory settings for the business side. One thing I'm gonna zonk is the texture of the handle here. This is something you're gonna use probably a lot, unless you're gonna jump through the window, um, open window, hopefully it's not closed, like uh, you could do like Dukes of Hazard style. I wish they would have put some kind of silver finish, something that was a little bit more pleasant to the touch. That flat black plastic doesn't feel good. Not a pockets is mind blowing. Here's the controls for your seats and you do have lower lumbar, which is a nice touch. Steering wheel has a great thickness. I like these buttons, even though they're the same buttons like many other Honda products, they're just flat black. It doesn't have the plastic coating on it. Dash makes total sense. Look at that. In the center, you have very nice view of what's going on. You could toggle through a bunch of different information. You have your tachometer, your speedometer, and you also have lots of different settings here that you could go through. You could go through your radio settings. I could go back, the trip computer, phone, the whole nine yards, and you have your coolant gauge and your fuel gauge. Easy to read, easy to understand. Even an auto dimming frameless mirror. That's a very nice touch that is really nice to have in just about any vehicle. Why don't we go ahead, check out the uh, mid row and see what kind of room we have in this Honda Odyssey. All right, guys, we're in the mid row. Now, remember, before there were any three row SUVs, there were minivans. They are three row. Now, one thing I want to point out is you have the buttons nicely placed to open and close the power sliding door. You also have your AC vents in the actual pillar here. Backs of the seats, nice dark leather all the way around. You have a large pocket for an abacus. I don't know if your kids actually still read books. You could put a book in there, iPad, your phone, even a snack. Might get a little squished though, but it's nice that it's a dark material so that when they're eating chocolate, picking their nose, it's not gonna show up very easily on the back of the seats. You have two, ace, uh, two uh, cup holders. You have your two USB, so that means you can stay charged with your electronic device. Sitting here is great. You have another pocket on this side. If you're wondering, well, where's the AC controls? They're actually built into the ceiling right here. So if you have just one passenger in this mid row, they need to sit on this side because here's your controls for the blower, fan, temperature, and all that good stuff. Overall, the seats are very comfortable. If you like a sliding seat, they'll slide all day. We could recline, chilling like a villain. Watch this. Not only do you have a captain's armchair, which that is the skinniest captain's armchair armrest here. This is, this is like, I don't even know if that even counts. Like, what is that? I don't even, it's a little on the small side. But the wonderful thing is, is that if you don't have anybody in the middle, you could fold that down. That gives you a little bit of space. And then you have place for three cup holders, snacks. Think about it. You could put peanut M&Ms right in there and just crunch away. Or if you need somebody to sit there, and you just do that and you get that versatility. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the third row and see how much room you have back there. All right, guys, third row time. Real easy in the Honda Odyssey. You just pull forward. Look at all that nice landing area for your kids to get in and out or uh, whoever you're giving a ride to. So you just go ahead and climb on in through that opening. You drop on down. And here's the best part as I get the headrest out of my back. The best part is I'm six feet tall. No matter if I sat up front, in the middle, or the back, I got plenty of room back here. Plus, my knees are not too high. You do have rear AC. There is one 12 volt back here, but you have places for two cup holders and a little bit of a snack bowl in here, which is great. Seats also recline as well in this third row. Let's see what it's like. I'm gonna pull it back. I'm not too worried, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna have tons of room. Boom. I got so much room back here. This is why the heck with the SUV. Get yourself a minivan. You won't have to worry about space ever again. But why don't we go ahead, check out the cargo area and see how usable it is in this Odyssey. All right, guys, let's get to the best part of this Odyssey. If you thought we already had enough room, wait until you see underneath this lift gate area. Now you do on the EXL trim, you get the leather. You also get the power assist lifting hatch. Check out that space. I mean, you could have people lie down back here and have a party. That's how much room there is in the back of this Odyssey. Plus you have these nice little cubbies to separate your snacks. Put the little Debbie uh, oatmeal cream pies over there, the Twinkies over here. Are you ready for the even better part? 
Honda has the stowing magic seat and it actually gives you instructions. Watch this, this is gonna blow your mind. So it flips down very easily. Now we're gonna pull this strap and we're gonna release it like this. Now we're gonna go, where'd the seat go? It's like a magic trick. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna pull this side down. You see how nice that folds down like that? We pull it back up just to show how it works. And then this one takes a little bit more effort, but look at that, tons of room. Plus we still have the mid row. Of course that mid row is gonna open up, but you could camp at the back of this thing. That's how much room is back here. And that's what makes the Odyssey such a high option. If you wanna be different, the heck with being the same and getting an SUV, get yourself one of these. You can see the amount of room you have, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Odyssey for a spin. All right guys, we're leaving Tampa Honda. We're in the 2020 Odyssey. This one is the EXL trim with the 10 speed, new for 2020 on throttle. It drops down and we are off and running. Smooth shifts and it gets you up to speed fairly quick, quickly for such a large vehicle. I mean, this is a minivan, but the great news is when you're driving it, it drives like a car. It really, really does. You feel comfortable. I guess it's that whole stigma of driving a minivan. Uh, there's this negative connotation about driving a minivan. I really feel that's why wagons uh, are just not very popular here in the United States as well. People want to have their SUV and they want it now. I like the way they have the blind spot monitoring located inside the cabin here to let you know when somebody is next to you and you can't see them instead of it being in the mirrors. Visibility in this thing is pretty incredible. Out that back window, lots of, lots of view. Side mirrors work very well uh, also. So definitely driving this thing is gonna be a piece of cake. And I, I've seen it, I've seen it many a time where there are people who buy a very large SUV and they have a hard time maneuvering it. This thing, not gonna happen. You're not gonna have an issue with it. Inside the cabin up here, lots of space. You have your ratcheting captain's chair, which you could adjust that 20 which ways from Sunday. And Honda does do a great job with their infotainment system. Even on the angle, there's not a lot of glare. And this one has a little bit more gloss black than some of their other models. It's, you're not gonna be touching those areas. So that's really, really nice about that. So crazy how it feels like you're just in a regular car, which is a really good thing. Let me go ahead and get on throttle. That 10 speed drops down very quickly. V6 gets you up and running. Very, very smooth shifts and definitely has plenty of get up and go for whatever your needs are gonna be. Sitting behind the wheel, you feel good. The windshield is very large. The A pillars are pulled far apart. Good feedback from the steering wheel. Now, I have it in sport mode, and the way that you put it in sport mode is by hitting the drive button twice. That's gonna adjust the parameters of how the engine and transmission operate. It actually does give you a little bit sportier feel um, to those two items that are, that are moving you down the road. Now, you do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down. Uh, that 10 speed automatic transmission. They are plastic and they are on the smaller side, but I'm not gonna zonk them because on a minivan, are you really looking for big metal magnesium paddles? Probably not. Uh, like I said, you just hit that drive button to go from drive or into sport. The dash gauge wise is easy to read, easy to understand. I like the eight inch infotainment system screen. Nice swipe feature or you could tab whatever you want. You could go back to home. This does, like I said, have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And at first you may hate push button automatic transmissions. You won't hate them when you're sitting in the vehicle because I'm telling you, it gives you so much space. I've never been in a vehicle that has so much space and little compartments everywhere. You could basically buy an Odyssey and just sell your house. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Comfort, seats are great. Even the captain's arm rest, it's a little on the wider side, but um, overall, it's it's pretty good. I just don't like the ratcheting feature. I don't see a point to a ratcheting armrest. But uh, steering wheel though has a nice thickness. Uh, we got people cutting across all sorts of lanes here. Never a dull moment on Rady's rides. Let me get this armrest back down. See, it's just a pain in the ratcheting armrest. 
but seriously visibility in this thing is great looking out that large rear glass window side mirrors are awesome what i really really like is how they bring the blind spot monitoring into the cabin here instead of having it mounted on the glass of the mirrors easy to see they even angle it towards you so that you can see if somebody's in your blind spot very very easily what i would like to see even at the exl i feel like exl you should have ventilated seats that's going to be a zonk for me um and then also just like i said on the door handles to open and close the door it's a very very cheap plastic and something that you're going to touch every single time you get in and out of this vehicle it should have a little nicer feel on an exl trim i'm trying to compare apples to apples here but very very smooth steering has a great weight to it and it's easy to get to everything in here i mean you get on the throttle you're off and running in this thing with the v6 really has a good amount of power and the best news is is that maneuverability it's not a challenge people go out and buy these large three row suvs and then you can see that they can't drive them very well because they can't even park it at a parking spot with this odyssey it, it's it's easy peasy lemon squeezy i guess the biggest challenge is getting past the stigma of driving a minivan i think that's what happened with wagons and why wagons are not popular here in the united states is that people have this negative stigma about driving a wagon or a station wagon so but overall you should take that right out the and throw it right out the window uh, because this thing is is really a pleasure to drive but hopefully this gave you a nice overview of the odyssey the exl trim we are now back as you can see at tampa honda so we're going to wrap this one up and i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been another great day here at tampa honda definitely gotta thank sam and the rest of the crew Hopefully I was able to showcase enough of this Odyssey to make you scratch your head and say, you know what? Maybe I don't need an SUV. Honda definitely has you covered from stem to stern when it comes to maximum space in a minivan and definitely a competitor to go up against the Sienna and the Pacifica. But if it's vehicles like these you wanna see on Rady's Rides, maybe ones that you never thought about purchasing yourself, put a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raise Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. He loves this minivan. He wants to make a mobile gym out of it. We're going to get that together as soon as we're done filming. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.